Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is now early October. Our honey is stacking. Our eggs are stacking. They've uh, they've been growing. We've got 244 chickens now, which is absolutely marvelous. And that's nearly 20,000 liters worth of eggs, I believe. Now I'm looking at the food there. I was going to say that is. Um, 1100 pieces of eggs <laughs> as it works out to be so uh, yeah we've got quite a bit there that's going to do us well once these two sites are full that's going to be, be good money our cows are doing well i believe we've had more um calves if i just come close to the shed we should see that we now have 82 cows which is crazy Almost 100 cows already for our dairy production, and these are all going to be producing milk. Just uh, have another quick check. What did we have for milk-wise here? 24,000 litres of milk. That's the most milk we'll ever, we've ever had, which is insane. So, last time out, we were getting a little bit of grass work done, finishing off a few other jobs, selling some silage. Um, the work is already going on our other... Uh, grass meadow they've been uh, doing their headlands there they be off over there they've cut that one we did that yesterday so today we need to get oh excuse me today we need to get our grass that we've cut into this clamp because we're going to be silage in it so from the meadow behind me and from over yonder we want to get that grass in there and hopefully this field as well in there and uh, we'll try and get the worker to cut the other cow meadow and the sheep's meadow as well and uh, once we've got the grass in off this pasture around here we shall uh, move our cows back over or 100 of them which is gonna take me a while I think again a lot of grass off this you get a lot of grass and we need to uh, dig all this up this time around as well so uh, that's the, the digging up is going to be a job for another day we're, we're doing fine for hay but we will uh, get more hay in time we probably should put this somewhere a little bit better if I'm going to be coming through I haven't put it away because I know I'm going to need it I might just uh, stick it over here out of the way for now <laughs> Excuse my cameras. <laughs> so we'll put the uh, the loader wagon on the Massey and uh, we'll do that. Now I checked our remaining silage and oh, all over, all thumbs today, uh, our remaining silage and we've still got over 330,000 litres in that clamp. So I should imagine this year we'll sell some more. We don't need all that, especially if we're now going to get some more. I think everyone's now proven me right. I don't need as much silage as I'm making. Or I just need to be able to sell it in larger quantities. <laughs> That's what I need to be able to do. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be uh, making money with it, though. That's uh, not like that's a problem, is it? If we make too much money, it just means we get to have more fun. Right, let's get started on this. It's going to take me a while. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of jump cutting and stuff, because we do do this a lot. This might be an episode where you see me do a little bit of this, a little bit of the other field, um, check in on the worker, and then move the cows, and then uh, see what sort of time of day we've got. You know, if we get this all done and there is time, we'll uh, do a couple of silage runs, I guess, just to bring some of that money back, because uh, I'm using course play, but I don't um, have course play set so the workers are free. Um, we are paying 50% though, so we're not paying 100% of the worker fee. We'll uh, we'll have our worker as if they are an, our employer and they're not going to rip us off. Or, or a, a work, we are their employer and they're not going to rip us off, I should say. Because sometimes these worker fees are a little bit high. That's our first load already, that's how, how good this is. So yeah, this is going to take a while to do. But we'll, uh, we'll show a couple of the unloads. See what sort of challenge it is to get in there and to actually unload into it. 
for me, sometimes it's just the camera that's the problem, let alone the actual manoeuvre. I do love this type farm. I've said it about a million times, but I do like it. I did manage to uh, take out some of those trees that were causing me issues in there. I couldn't quite get to them at first, but I got them gone. And obviously the ones that were out in the field, they're all gone. And our weeds are growing, so we need to get some weeding done as well. That will be a... I was going to say it'll be a worker job, but they, they're not so uh, so good at it all the time, are they? That's the trouble. So, uh, try to think now. There we are. I felt sure I'd... Uh, put the dump on something else, but it wasn't there. Perhaps when I've uh, been shuffling the controls back and forth, I didn't save the uh, the new set of controls with the, uh, the dump on. Just have to remember that. I'll move it for next time. So we'll uh, go and fill up again. Get some more in there. Now I may, may do it so we try to think, I'm just try to think how best to do this as I'm doing it. Because I was a little bit surprised by how quickly that filled. We'll do we'll do a couple more. I think I'll do a little time lapse here. Do it like that. Do it. We'll have a little time lapse after this uh, unload. And uh, yeah, see what happens I guess. Just uh, I'm very aware of the amount of grass we're doing. <laughs> I, I could happily do this <laughs> day after day, but it's uh, present it into a way that it's maybe enjoyable. And me constantly chatting about trying to make it enjoyable probably doesn't make it enjoyable, counterintuitive. But bear with me, people. This is all so we can buy more land and do more things. So. I'd say we're uh, pretty going well as a pretty successful dairy farm already. Although we've not really sold much milk in this <laughs> as a dairy farm, the animals are growing. We're, we're never going to have to worry about feed. We're not going to have to worry about stuff like that. There's always going to be money coming in. The chickens are now set up. Bees. We're looking like an established farm, and uh, you can't grumble at that. That's for certain. So I guess eventually, sheep. I want to get the beefers on as well, don't I? Let's not let's not get with sheep until we've got some beef <laughs> beef stock on. Right. I'm gonna swing that in there a little bit better. That was worse. I said better. Come on. <laughs> right over on at the back of it. That's where I want it. Lovely, lovely. Now I'm guessing this clamp doesn't hold as much. It's not as big as the other one. It doesn't seem as big anyway in this position. It's got we've got a much longer, uh, just longer clamp. The other one. So I shall get stuck into loading this up, and um, at some point in editing, I guess I'll decide <laughs> whether we time lapse it or whether I jump it.
this is the last of the grass off our first meadow. We've had quite a few nice trips, so uh, should be a fair, fair old bit in there. Let's just turn that off now. A little wee fruit. And uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember if I went and, and rode the uh, the other cut meadow. Or if that still needs rowing, so we'll have to uh, check on that. Hopefully, that's road, so I can just steamroll into uh, loading that up in here as well. Now I'm thinking I might take out a little bit of fence so that we can uh, have like a track come through. Maybe put a, take out some hedge, put a gate in there, and maybe do the same with the cow meadow. If we're going to be using this other clamp, that might be easier than um, and quicker than uh, driving through the whole farm every time. Same as I want to reshape that bit. I did say that last time or a couple of, a couple of visits ago. Now, my worker is getting on with it. They did get stuck on a tree for a little bit, but that weren't too much of an issue. Again, the headland seems a little bit short of a headland, so... Just is what it is. I'll just have to give it a quick once over when I go round. And by the looks of it... No, I haven't. I haven't rowed this yet. So I guess we are going to get some wind rowing in today as well. I'll just park this over on the track. It's going to need it over here anyway. We'll just park it off the track. There's a decent sized meadow we could buy. Here we, oh, there's, as I say, we could even put access through there, but there's access there by the looks of it. Just have a little look. Is there access? Del yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, no, no, yes. I think it's, you go all the way down and then in. So we could uh, take a tree out, cut a little way in. That could be a nice big uh, grass meadow for us. So let's go and get the wind rower hooked up and uh, we'll get this meadow rowed. And hopefully by the time we've then rowed this one up, the worker will have finished in the other one. And uh, that'll be ready to row and uh, load up as well. They appear to have got themselves stuck on a fence again. And that's another reason why they're still only getting paid 50% of the wage, because until I'm better at setting them up, they still require a fair old bit of babysitting. So we'll uh, get this done. Um, shall I loopy loop or shall I up and down? Probably should up and down this one. But we'll, uh, we'll get the headland in first. Just for my convenience. We need to uh, weed our other arable field as well. See, they've, uh, they've come through quite, quite hefty. Now, I think a lot of them are probably going to be grown beyond the, uh, the weeder capabilities by the time I get around to doing it. This is uh, another good reason for why we need a third tractor. A lot of jobs to be done now. Trying to juggle a lot of balls. So, uh, yeah. Get some more money in the bank. We'll have to uh, see what we can afford if stuff pops up on a second-hand market. I do regret not picking up the uh, cheap Massey and the um, case when they were there. They would have been perfect. They weren't bigger. But they were the same as the John Deere, so... Sort of horsepower wise, 175 in that in that region, 175, 180. That would have been nice. We do need something a bit bigger now, but just a third tractor would help. I did have a look um, first thing this morning as to what there was uh, available, and all there was was the uh, a big big carry uh, cultivator, which we don't really need and don't have the horsepower for. So, yeah, just, just in the market for a tractor, really. 
we'll uh, we'll check again at the end of the day, see if anything new comes up, because there was only that one item in there. I think I'm going to follow this edge for my uh, start of my long runs. Since it's a longer one, we'll just sort of go along with this. finished off their part of the mowing I'm just going to go around and do the, the headland that they missed so it gives us a chance to do a little bit of mowing today as well I've set them off into the, um, the big canola field and they are currently weeding in there, they'll probably take them the rest of the afternoon with that so uh, once I've finished up with the, the mowing here I'll probably stick the uh, wind roller on and I'll get this road up to then uh, continue loading up. I've got about a third of that other meadow already loaded up into the clamp, so uh, we've been plenty busy. It's nearly two o'clock. It's uh, it's just been a lot of the same stuff, so uh, I figure I'd do it like that. I might um, put a little bit of it in some in the in editing, or we might just uh, do a clean jump here. I'm not going to do a massive. Uh, Massive time lapse for it because it's just, you know, not what I want to do. Simple as that, I want to do. So, yeah. As you can see, they are. You know, <laughs> speed along. They're having a jolly old time. Hopefully, with that tool, they won't have any issues. Uh, if they do, we'll, uh, we'll go sort it out. It's not, not a problem, as I like to say. What we may do, let's just turn them all off. Have that issue with uh, half and half. Right, so I'll get this put away. I will say what I may do. I might move over the cows now, because I'm not going to dig up that meadow. The the one that were the, the dairy cows go in. So we might shift them over. No, I decided I'm going to get the grass finished. I can move the cows late at night, even if I was done sort of off camera, off screen, and we can get them moved over, whereas I don't want to be doing grass work at night. That's, uh, I mean, it's not hard, but it's, it's not as easy as just uh, driving to and fro, loading the cows up. I think then tomorrow we'll, uh, if I do get them moved over tonight, tomorrow we'll sell all the milk that we have some twigs over here. Where'd that come from? You can cut no trees down over here, so I don't know where that's, uh, that's from. Got a whole branch. So yeah, I'm going to go around, give myself a, uh, a nice double headland again. This so way I can uh, nice and easily uh, work my way across the fields, get some rows, and then we'll uh, attach the loader on the back again, and uh, it'll be time to do some more collecting. I just want to bring you guys back quickly just to show you that the grass grows so insanely quick that the first headland the worker did has already grown back. That's that's mad. Already got fresh grass. Could have just kept going around and cutting it and adding to it. So much. Right. Let's get back to getting this all rolled up nicely and uh probably uh, join me back once I've uh, got the loader wagon attached. See you in a second. So, with all the grass loading that we do, and with the, <laughs> me wanting to expand the farm, get another big meadow, and also, you know, <laughs> have around about 1,600 yeah, 1600 cows, um, I'm going to sell our loader wagon, and I'm going to buy the next one up going to go for something bigger. Um, nothing massive, obviously, because we can't pull nothing massive, but we can pull bigger than this. Uh, we're going to get the, 
Is Stroutman the next size up? Um, oh, I forget his name. Yeah. I'm going to go for that. Uh, it's going to cost us just over 40 grand. Um, I think it's got 23,000 litre capacity, whereas we've currently got just over 16. So it's a little bit more. Um, in the long run, it's going to be a few less runs. So I'm just going to drop this off, get this sold. So we're probably going to want a bit of repair work on it. While we're here, we'll uh, get ourselves some diesel as well. So... Try and back it up. Oh, one way. Smoothest reversing, is it? Okay. So we are just uh, repair it for sixty-one, and we're gonna get. What's it worth? Oh, three grand. It's not worth nothing. I forgot that they were really old when we started. Okay. Sell that. And we're going to purchase the Stroutman Zalen CFS 2101 ZD0 or DO. Who knows? Right. But we're going to buy that. It's going to cost... Wait there. Can we uh, put silage additives tank on it? Boost our silage even more. Let's go with that. Decided to uh, purchase a couple of pallets of silage additive. Let's go with it. I mean, I'm not sure how much the additive tank takes or how often it needs to be refilled. I've never done it. This is exciting. So, if I just... Oh, wow, it just takes a little bit at a time. Oh, no, I just pressed it twice, I was going to say. Well, it's full. 10 litres. I don't know how far that goes. Ideally, we'd be uh, taking it back to the farm with us, but just for a little test to run, we're just going to see how long it lasts. We're not uh, having a look at the model at the minute because uh, we're in a rush, man. It's like quarter past four nearly. We need to get this job done. Like I've said many times before, we do enough of them. I don't want to be dragging the grass jobs out forever, so... Yeah, we'll uh, we'll give this a good crack. Um, see if I can uh, manoeuvre it well enough to uh, get it in the small, tight silage clamp. But you'll get to see, I, I managed to clear quite a bit off here uh, before sorting out the, uh, the grass fringe and moving the worker onto the weeder. They are still weeding, they're getting that done. Let's see uh, how much a full load takes out of the additive tank. So, like a litre, two litres per load. So, ten to five, ten to five litres, or ten to five loads for every fill. So, yeah, something new. Something new on the farm. Just on a whim as well. It's not like we've got a lot of money, but. 42 grand should be enough to say we're going to sell our milk next time out and uh, probably sell some more silage or we might just check and wait maybe do that in the winter probably get a better price for it because we've not got much else um, if we get desperate we can load up the um, honey and the eggs that we've got they can go and be sold 1. Oh, or 0. 0.6 Liters per load. That's not too bad, actually. That's going to last a while. So uh, I'll uh, try and get the uh, pallets brought back. Oh, I don't think they can be kept in a tank. I think you do have to keep the pallets. So we'll have to find somewhere nice for them to live. It just looks better pulling a bigger wagon, doesn't it? It's not even a big wagon, but it just looks and feels better pulling that bigger wagon. Hopefully the workers still getting on with things. Yeah, look, they're working their way back across. They've done their headlands and uh, they're now coming back from the far forest end 
to this end, the B end, so uh, getting through that. One of their jobs tomorrow will be to uh, weed the other field as well. Hopefully it won't be too grown. So yeah, this is going to give us more lush uh, silage, which will be great. So I was just having a little thought, and uh, when we do sell the milk, I think I'm going to put that money, hopefully there'll be a little bit left over afterwards, I'm going to put that money towards um, trying to fill the mineral feed tank on the... Uh, the dairy pasture on that complex, get some uh, mineral feed in there, so that should help them produce, increase uh, production from the cows, help them fatten up and grow nicely and uh, give us a bit more milk. I think that'll be a good investment on that one. You can see that the uh, as good a job as the worker is doing, some of those weeds have grown beyond that worker's the, the, not the worker's ability, but that um, weeder's ability. I think they're already too big. So I may have to lease a sprayer. There's only two with spot sprays, and that's really expensive, so uh, I'm not sure. That might get left. That might be have to have to be what happens there. Sorry about the skip, you know, uh, little interruption as always. Alright. Let's uh, continue on. While the, uh, while the day is still light, clearing these fields, come back to you with any other thoughts I have or <laughs> inspirations or when it's too dark to work. <laughs> it's uh, nearly six o'clock. Try and get this one in here. So this will probably be, uh, be the end of today's episode because it's not going to be uh, good working in the light. Workers made their way back. They finished. So uh, let's see how much we have in here. Does it tell us? Not while we're unloading, it doesn't. So uh, have to go in and have little butchers. So we have uh, set 343,000 liters of chaff. Um, so we've got as much in here already as we have in the other one. And we've pretty much still got a whole field to clear. This is going to be so much. Um, awesome. This is all money. All money, this one. Yeah, I'm going to try and get this finished up, cleared and done throughout the night. Um, movement of the cattle will uh, have to wait till tomorrow. Perhaps that'll be a, a first job of the morning just to have a break away from all the grass before we move on to try and get some hay sorted. Uh, hopefully I get to put this together in a way that it is uh, remotely entertaining and enjoyable. If you have enjoyed it please give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are live and as always comments and feedback down there. What do you think about the farm's new addition with the Stroutman Zalon? Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking that we've got the silage additives on the go as well now. It's going to help us to make even more money. Money is good. So you guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.